Oklahoma is a strangely shaped state located in the heartland of the United States. While Oklahoma is commonly considered one of the flyover states, it's not a place to bypass according to its tourist board. Get over your fear of tornadoes and explore this country of lakes, vast plains, and red clay hills in the south. Oklahoma is renowned for its thriving agricultural and oil sectors as well as its Native American history. Oklahoma is also well known for collegiate athletics, country music, and the historic Route 66, which formerly traveled through the state. It is also a very inexpensive area to live. Reasons to move there, we hear you say? Welcome to our mashup of Oklahoma. Cheap towns to buy your new home in, and why not to even consider moving to Oklahoma in the first place? So, you are going to save some money on cheap areas to buy your home in. We are going to show you where, and then ruin it by telling you why not to do it. Sounds like fun, let's get going. But first, please remember to like and subscribe for more content. Holdensville This is an incredible place to buy a house and an even better place to rent. This city features some of the most affordable pricing in Oklahoma. However, the price of pastimes may be more than in other regions. The median property value of $55,100 will attract many homeowners. Over 65% of the population choose to buy a property due to its affordability. Homeowners often have an annual family income of $32,433, which is sufficient to buy a property. This area has a much lower population density, which might influence a variety of factors, such as employment opportunities, housing options, and local activities. Here comes the stinger. A factor that might negatively increase the low cost of living in Oklahoma. Local and state tax rates. Oklahoma is in the bottom half of all states in terms of the total tax load it places on its inhabitants. Oklahoma has unusually high sales taxes. Initially, the state imposes a 4.5% sales tax on all transactions. Then, county and municipal governments add their own sales taxes. Furthermore, where you spend your money in Oklahoma, sales taxes typically vary between 8 and 11%. Not excluded from sales tax are purchases of food, groceries, and other needs, as they are in many other American states. Oklahoma's tax system is progressive, where rates vary between 0.5 and 5%. So, if you earn a great deal of money and spend most of your earnings, then Oklahoma will take its cut. Consider it this way. For each dollar earned and spent, on average, Oklahoma will get around 15%. Let's suppose federal taxes, including Social Security tax, account for an added 30%. Therefore, for every $1 you earn and spend, you are left with just $0.55 cents worth of buying power. Therefore, high earners who are also high spenders should be cautious. Oklahoma may not be the most financially beneficial state for you. Anadarko Anadarko has been ranked as one of the top real estate markets in Oklahoma. This is because residents here make more money and property prices stay below the national average. In spite of the fact that $550 per month rent is a terrific bargain in this town, about 60% of the population chooses to own a property. Anadarko is not recognized for its nightlife, so if you're searching for a town with exciting nighttime activities, you may want to explore elsewhere. Your kids will suffer. Okay, that's a little over the top, or is it? Overall, Oklahoma's education ranks extremely low, the 10th worst state in the United States, and at one point, the second worst state. Similar to Mississippi, Oklahoma does not significantly spend its high tax revenue on education. Consequently, teachers in the state are severely underpaid when compared to national averages. Consequently, it is not unusual for educators to seek employment in other states, despite the fact that many schools receive acceptable ratings. State spending per pupil is below the national average. If keeping your kids entertained is a full-time job, Oklahoma isn't for you. If you prefer outdoor activities, Oklahoma City can supply you with several possibilities. Not really, but let's carry on. This landlocked state is found in the center of the American grassland, so you will not find any mountains or beaches. There are lots of rolling plains for residents to enjoy, but there is not a great deal of variation in the surrounding terrain. 
So put it plainly, you've got planes to visit. Cushing Cushing is a considerably large community with over 7,746 residents. You will see that the neighbors are friendly and that they readily accept newcomers. Although the typical house value of $85,600 is higher than in other cities, 59% of the population chooses to buy a home. With a median price of $674, rent is significantly more costly here. This region's economy is robust, owing to its dependence on the oil sector. This location is regarded as the world's pipeline crossroads. This is the ninth best house price to income ratio in the state. The public schools are ranked above average, and the community is considered more diversified than other locations. That being said, here are two more reasons not to move to Oklahoma if you're a little progressive. Everyone has the right to have any religious or spiritual beliefs they want. Christianity is by far the most prevalent religion practiced in churches in Oklahoma, and fundamentalism is the most prevalent spiritual expression. Consistent study results show that this region is one of only three in which over 50% of the population identifies with this group. Arkansas and Tennessee are the other two states. If you oppose corporal punishment and the death sentence, your conception of justice may differ from that of some of your neighbors. This may result in unpleasant experiences over time. Some individuals have said that every discussion in some way or form in Oklahoma revolves around religion. Oklahoma City has a wide range of cultures and ethnicities, but when it comes to religion or politics, there isn't much leeway. If you are neither a Christian nor a Republican, no Democratic presidential candidate has won a single county in the state since 2000. You will be in the minority in the majority of these communities. This contributes to a sense of imbalance in the state. Despite the embrace of Midwestern civility and Southern charm, you may discover that people are not accepting of who you are if you have strong ideas that contradict the local culture. Ponca City Even though this city has a population of little more than 24,000 people, it is still considered a tiny city by American standards. Thanks to the oil sector, this city has a robust economy, which attracts a large number of young professionals. Due to the still below average housing prices, this area is also a popular retirement destination. The weather can kill you. If you choose to move to Oklahoma, you will be in the middle of Tornado Alley. Even if the likelihood of suffering a devastating event is low, you must remember to listen for weather warnings when storms begin to develop. During April and May, it is possible to see the development of thunderheads in real time, so you'll know when they're coming. Occasionally, snowstorms, hail, and sleet are also possible during the winter months. Occasionally, storms pass through and freeze everything over. In the wake of some of these catastrophes, Oklahoma City might be an attractive area to live. Nevertheless, you need to ensure that your insurance policies are constantly current. Seminole This town is more diversified than the others on the list, and its modest house value of $61,900 makes it an ideal spot for families. In the 1920s, the oil boom in this region led to an increase in population, which attracted a large crowd of homeowners. Currently, nearly 55% of the population has bought a house. The schools are ranked above average, and there is an abundance of seasonal outdoor activities. There is a lake to explore, as well as a casino for individuals over 21. That's the abundance. Okay, so we've shown why it's cheap to live in Oklahoma. But, sorry to say, the cons outweigh the pros for this state. Crime Rate With a crime rate of 49 per 1,000 population, Oklahoma City has one of the highest crime rates in the United States when compared to communities of all sizes. The likelihood of being a victim of violent crimes such as armed robbery, rape, aggravated assault, non-negligent manslaughter, and murder in Oklahoma City is 1 in 138, according to monitoring organizations. The probability of being a victim of a property crime, including burglary, motor vehicle theft, larceny over $50, and arson, is 1 in 24, or 41 per thousand people. Bad Infrastructure Oklahoma has suffered 46 severe weather events that have caused up to $20 billion in infrastructure damage during the earlier decade. Additionally, 2,326 bridges and 1,000 miles of roads in Oklahoma are in poor condition. When leaving Oklahoma and entering a new state, it seems like there is a noticeable change on the road. The roads are just different. 
bad different. State roadways often have potholes and are somewhat worn out. There are also many dirt roads in rural regions, which are passable as long as it has not rained recently. Numerous cities lack sufficient sidewalks and other facilities are in poor condition. Homelessness. As of January 2020, Oklahoma had an estimated 3,932 persons suffering homelessness on any one day, including 255 family units, 325 veterans, 290 unaccompanied youth ages 18 to 24, and 1,128 individuals enduring chronic homelessness. During the 2018-2019 school year, the U.S. Department of Education received reports from public schools showing that an estimated 23,372 students experienced homelessness. There were 774 students without shelter, 1,668 in shelters, 615 in hotels or motels, and 20,315 were doubled up. Some of the strangest laws in the U.S. If these laws don't make you change your mind about Oklahoma, nothing will. Imagine the motivation behind advocating for a law that prohibits wearing boots to bed or preventing someone from eating another person's cheeseburger. Or how about a law making it illegal to have rear legs of farm animals tucked into one's boots? Or one that would punish someone for bringing a fishbowl with a live fish on a bus? However, these are not the only strange state laws still in effect. In Oklahoma, making faces at a dog is a criminal offense. If found reading a comic book while driving, you will face a penalty. Are you interested in pursuing a career in whaling? Not in this state. The authorities in Oklahoma City, the state capital, put a stop to it. Kissing for more than three minutes is prohibited by municipal code in Tulsa. Women are allowed to gamble in the tiny town of Shoulder, so long as they are not wearing lingerie, a towel, or a nude. We are not making this up. Although Oklahoma is apparently dirt cheap to live in, when you start digging up the dirt on all the state has, it's not as it seems. There are better states to live in. You've got lots to choose from. Watch these videos for more. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.